Hello Aries, welcome to another love reading. This is going to be a monthly love reading for January 2021. I can't believe I'm saying that. Happy New Year. Welcome. If you're new, welcome back. If you're a subscriber, thank you so much for subscribing and sticking around. Um, we're going to be doing uh, something similar to the 411 love reading. You guys seem to enjoy those. We're going to be looking at your connection, um, what's going on in the moment, how do they feel about you, what are their true intentions towards you, and what are their next actions going to be. Um, so we're going to dig into that today. So let's get right into it for Aries. Spirits, angels, guides, what messages do you have for Aries for the month of January 2021? Now, Aries, this is a general love reading. So as always, it cannot resonate with every single person watching 100%. Take what resonates, leave the rest. If it does not resonate at all, check out my playlist for Aries. I have a ton of videos there that you can watch. What does Aries need to know when it comes to love for January 2021 spirit? What does Aries need to know? Wedding. This situation involves marriage. Hmm. Okay. Let's get some more information using my Stellar Energy Oracle deck so we can get a little bit more on the energies here. This is a deck that you can print at home. I printed mine as staples months ago and it's still going strong. Um, this is going to be a physical deck soon, so keep a lookout. Um, it's a little bit different than this, but it's the same idea. All right, so link down below for this deck if you're interested. What are the energies surrounding Aries spirit? What are the energies surrounding Aries? In love for January 2021. The energies. Patiently waiting. Divine timing, patience, trust. Be patient. What you desire will be given at the right time. What else for Aries? What else for Aries? What energies are surrounding them regarding love? January 2021. Deep regret, remorse, guilt, responsibility. Excuse me. There is regret over the past. Hmm. I feel like for the Aries that I'm talking to, you've been wanting some sort of long term commitment here. You've been wait, uh, waiting for someone, I believe, someone that you still have some sort of regrets about from the past. Um, this could also be the person that you're interested in. Maybe they are having regrets over the past. Bottom of the deck, I have burdened heart and time out. Time is of the essence. Timing, timing patience, waiting. So timing is important here. Burdens weigh heavy on the heart. I feel like this could be some like maybe a situation where divine timing is at play or a lot of time has passed in this connection. Someone may feel like they're running out of time. So let's get more information. What is going on for Aries in love? This is the Druid Craft Tarot deck. I love this deck, but it's quite large. So please bear with me as I try to shuffle it. What is going on for Aries in love, January 2021 spirit? What is going on for Aries in love? What is going on for Aries in love? Wow, starting off with the world. A cycle ending, something new beginning here. What else for Aries? What do they need to know for January 2021? Oh, okay. Two. 
Four of Cups, King of Pentacles, Reverse. Interesting. I got something similar. I think it was Libra. Some of you could be dealing with a Libra. Um, but there's like a disinterest right now. Like someone's not very happy in their current situation. Um, someone could be closed off to love with the Four of Cups. It could also symbolize that someone is fearing rejection. Maybe they'll offer a cup to someone and it will not be accepted. We'll clarify all of these to see. And then I have the King of Pentacles reverse. So now I'm starting to think that some of you Aries out there that I'm reading for are interested in someone who's already in a commitment. One of you could be married here. For me as a reader, the King of Pentacles is someone typically already in a commitment of some sort. If they're not in a commitment, this is someone that is unable to commit to you or give you something right now. King of Pentacles reverse tends to be someone who has made some mistakes. Um, they are focused a lot on what, you know, having more, having more a bit greedy, a bit selfish, but they could also be people that are going through financial difficulty due to some mistakes they've made or they're not very balanced right now. Um, for me as a reader, typically the King of Pentacles reverse is someone who's unable to commit for whatever reason. So let's see. Let's clarify these energies. Spirit, help me clarify these energies for... Aries. You could be dealing with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Does not have to be. This world card, for some reason, I feel like you've been through, it has been a, a cycle with this person, a journey with this person. I don't know why I'm picking that up with the world because that's not really what that card means. That card is kind of, um, you're graduating, you've learned everything you've needed to learn throughout whatever phase or journey you are in. There has been wins and losses, um, struggles, successes, and now you're taking all of that that you've learned into a new cycle. So let's see. What is going on here for Aries? Why is the world here? Tell me about the world spirit. Why is the world here? King of Cups reversed. Queen of Pentacles upright. So I have a Queen of Pentacles upright, King of Pentacles reversed, and a King of Cups reversed. So I feel like the feminine energy here is very stable, grounded. The, I feel like the feminine energy knows exactly what they want. And I say feminine energy that can be male or female. We all have masculine and feminine energy within us, but this is what I'm seeing. And for some reason, I'm taking this a little literal just because that's what I'm feeling. So that's why I go with what I feel. <laughs> so I, you know, this queen of pentacles could also be, this could be someone that you were married to in the past, Aries. Um, I don't think it's a commitment that's doing very well there's regret disinterest here so if that's the case um i don't think this marriage is doing is the most stable tell me more about the world i feel like this this world card is regarding two people king of cups reverse tends to be somebody who is um unable to they're going through an emotional time or their emotions are off balance Wow, we have the Emperor. There you are, Aries, coming into your own reading. The Hierophant reversed. Taurus energy. Nine of Swords reversed. Interesting. I'm getting a strange, well, not a strange message, but this is what I got right away is that somebody is, this Emperor is taking charge of the situation, but they're overcoming a fear or anxiety they had to go against what's expected of them. This emperor could also be the one that's breaking a commitment of some sort. So we have three people here. Tell me about the emperor. Tell me about the emperor. 
This King of Cups reverse could be the one that has deep regret, but this Emperor as well. Tell me about this Emperor. The Sun reverse. Tell me more about the Emperor. The Chariot reverse, Cancer energy, all major arcanas here. Major shifts in energy. This Emperor feels stuck in a situation or switching direction. And I feel like if they are, they're doing it secretly. Like this isn't out in the open with the sun reverse. Or perhaps this emperor was unhappy and it caused them, they were unhappy with the situation they were in and it caused them to make some sort of move here. I have the knight of swords at the bottom. This emperor could be communicating with someone. Why is this king of cups reverse? Let me get a handle on what's going on here. I feel like this is a very um, specific reading. So this might not resonate for a lot of you. Eight of wands. Tell me more about this King of Cups reverse. The Empress. We have the Empress and the Emperor. My goodness. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles. I'm getting a story here and I'm not. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles. So this Queen of Pen okay, Ace of Wands at the bottom. This Queen of Pentacles has not been able to manifest an offer. They've been waiting for an offer, I feel. And this King of Cups reverse, they've been wanting to move forward with their Empress or wanting to move forward and build something, expand, grow, manifest. I feel like this is a couple, whether you're together or not, this is um, a partnership here that it's like out of frustration something shifts someone makes some sort of change can I get one more for the emperor someone decides to take charge of the situation it could be you aries because the emperor is sign of aries but it could also be your person tell me about the emperor Wow, yeah, there's there's an interference here. Someone is stuck because of an interference. It could be another person, addictions. It could be a job situation, distance, three of wands. It could be distance. But I feel like this is someone waiting. Waiting for the right time or waiting for a response. Interesting. Justice reverse in the tower. My God. And the eight of cups. Yeah, someone's leaving some sort of commitment here. There could even be a divorce. Libra energy. A tower has happened or is underway. And someone's walking away from a situation. And I feel like they've been waiting for this. Someone's been waiting for this person or this person's waiting for... It's like you're waiting for them or they're waiting for you. What in the world? Tell me if this is resonating, Aries, down in the comments. I don't think this is going to resonate with everyone, but I feel like this is your person or you feel this is your person because I have the emperor and the empress. Tell me about the four of cups. What's going on here with the four of cups? And there could be communication taking place right now with the eight of wands. This could be online. Eight of swords. Yeah, someone has felt stuck and it's almost like someone's waiting to become unstuck see a way out they're not happy where they're at yeah they're the four swords reverse they're waking up and taking action regarding an interference three of pentacles reverse so i have a three of cups reverse three of pentacles reverse this could be a family member a partner an ex-partner it could be distance like i said financial difficulty fear even because i have the eight of swords here someone is leaving a third party or leaving whatever is interfering in this connection and that's why we have the world something's starting here and it's starting because of someone's actions tell me about the king of pentacles reverse what's this about seven of cups tell me about the king of pentacles high priestess reverse wow so three of swords, high priestess reverse. This is going to be a, a painful transition or a choice that's not an easy choice. This king of pentacles reverse has to make a choice. Tell me about this seven of cups. Judgment and page of cups reverse. See, someone's having some sort of wake up call here regarding heartbreak or disappointment. Like something hasn't been working out for someone and it's forcing them to wake up. 
They're having realizations about the past, about regret possibly from the past, about the fact that they probably weren't, yeah, look at this, the moon reverse. Something is coming to the surface here, coming to light. What's this? Strength reverse, Leo energy. Yeah, I feel like someone didn't have the courage to do what needed to be done at the time. And I think that has to do with leaving a situation. Maybe they were delayed from leaving a situation out of fear, out of a lack of courage, or because the situation was a little bit out of control. Pisces energy with the moon reverse. So you could be dealing with a Pisces, a Leo. Um, I, have, I have a lot of signs here, to be honest. I have Aries. Uh, I have Cancer. I have a page of Pentacles, a page of Cups which is earth and water. So I have a lot of signs here. I don't see air right now, but signs are not important. The most important thing is the energy, the energy of the message, right? What's the message saying? And that's how you know if it'll resonate for you or not. Um, I feel there is a third party situation here. Possibly someone is married. I feel like someone has felt stuck. I don't know if that's you feeling stuck because you cannot move on with your life or them that are stuck in a situation here. But they're waking up. I have the Four of Swords reverse. I had judgment that came out here. This is someone waking up and taking some sort of action. It could even be someone opening the lines of communication. But I feel like this has been something that wasn't manifested in the past. Someone was trying to manifest an offer, this Queen of Pentacles, and they weren't able to manifest. And I feel like there has someone's thinking about either communicating with this empress or is communicating with this empress wanting to move forward here all they're doing like all that they're waiting for is they're just waiting for either a signal a sign a response for them to move on or move forward towards something let's see what are they thinking or feeling about you aries i'm using my secret moon oracle deck this is a physical deck available now in my shop Link down below if you're interested. What are they thinking or feeling about Aries at this time? Spirits, angels, guides. What are they thinking or feeling about Aries? Oops. Okay, I'm going to take these. I made a mistake. I still check up on you. And I can't let you go. Yeah, pretty much. Some of you could be dealing with a Libra because I feel like that, that reading was similar in a way. I see you in my dreams at the bottom of the deck. So this is someone I feel, Aries, from what I'm getting here, I still check up on you. I don't think you're in contact with this person. I feel like this person secretly checks up on you, sees what you're up to, and they haven't been able to let you go, uh, which tells me that you've had something in the past with this person, some sort of connection. And they made a mistake. That's why we have the deep regret card here. Okay, so let's see. Let's see what else we can get here about how they feel and what they're thinking. What are they thinking or feeling about Aries? This person that they're in a connection with. What are they thinking or feeling about Aries? What are they thinking or feeling about Aries? Do I want to shuffle one more? Yes. What are they thinking or feeling about Aries? Okay, that feels good. All right, what are they thinking or feeling about you? Let's get more information about that. We know there's regrets, mistakes. Two of Swords, indecision. Let's add indecision there. There's the Three of Cups reversed. Whole different deck. Some of you are definitely dealing with some sort of interference in your connection. And we got the King of Cups upright. Water, energy, uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Does not have to be, but it's there. Um, this King of Cups, I feel, just is very motivated by how they feel. Um, this is typically someone that's emotionally mature, compassionate, easy to talk to, has a lot, is not afraid to show how they feel, the King of Cups. And then bottom of the deck, look at this, Queen of Cups. <laughs> 
So again, we have a partnership here. And so, you know, if you remember the previous spread I did, the King of Pentacles was reversed, Queen of Pentacles was upright. Then we had the Emperor and the Empress. So I feel like there's a shift. Like before you weren't on the same page and now you're starting to be on the same page here. Oh, let me ask, what are their true intentions? Let's just put these cards down and we'll clarify. What are their true intentions towards Aries? Ah. Page of Swords, Communication, and wow, Knight of Wands. They want to talk, they want to move forward, they're passionate, motivated. Okay, what are their next actions going to be? What are, what are their next actions going to be towards Aries? What are their next actions going to be towards Aries? My God, we got the world again. What are their next actions going to be towards Aries? I'm telling you, there's a whole new cycle they want to start with you here. Yeah, six of wands. Are you kidding me? Success. Movement forward, recognition. Damn. <laughs> this is a really good, really good reading. So, okay, so let's dive in here because I feel like um, this is probably going to be a really long reading and I'm trying not to have super long readings anymore. I just don't feel like, I don't know, I feel like people like shorter readings. So, we'll see. Okay, help me clarify these energies, please, for Aries. Let me clarify spirit these energies for Aries. I'm sorry if the cards knocking on the table are really loud. My mic is sensitive and these cards are heavy. So, all right, tell me about this two of swords because there's indecision here about you. Why is the two of swords here for Aries? Oh, we got the star reversed Aquarius energy here. Someone feels like maybe this is um, a hopeless situation or they don't have faith in this or faith in themselves. Perhaps there's a lot of healing that needs to take place. Queen of Pentacles reverse. Tell me about the two. And the Four of Wands. Seven of Pentacles reverse. Four of Wands. I feel like, let me get one more. Can I get one more for this two of swords? What's this about spirit? Judgment, yeah, okay. So temperance at the bottom reverse. So this is all, all due to timing and a realization. Someone could be wanting a second chance here with judgment. I feel like someone's realizing what they want and it's almost like they can't give to what they want to have. They have to make a choice in order for that to happen. That's why right now, none of this is really taking place, Aries, because someone needs to decide what path they want to go on. First, they're having the awakening about it. Now they have to actually walk the path that they choose. They might be guarding their heart because in their mind this might be a hopeless situation maybe a lot of time has passed or there's a lot more time needed for something to come together here with temperance reverse more time more effort more more uh energy needs to be put into something to bring it back into balance but right after that i have the king of cups i feel like this is someone that's willing to do that that wants to love this is someone that wants to love Now this Queen of Pentacles reverse with this Four of Wands and this Star reverse, this could be that there is a situation in a home that's not doing very well with a certain partner. This could also be that your person wants to heal this connection, but right now they're unable to give to this connection because the Queen of Pentacles reverse for me as a reader can signify someone that is unable to give. They depend on others. So they don't really have much to give themselves. So regardless, I feel like this two of swords, this decision is regarding an awakening this person is having, a second chance they might want to have, or some sort of rebirth they want to have in their life. That's what the, the decision is about. 
But then we have this Three of Cups reverse. Tell me about this Three of Cups reverse, please. For Aries, tell me about the Three of Cups reverse, please. Okay, we got the Knight of Wands again. We got the Eight of Pentacles reverse and the Ten of Cups. There, there's a family here. I feel like this person um, with the Eight of Pentacles reverse, there could be some sort of situation where um, they don't have the energy or the ability to work on something or to put in a lot of effort. Um, this could be that something's not working for your person or for you, Aries, because this could also be you. Or there's difficulties at work as well. I feel like the interference is a family or an interference is keeping someone from having their Ten of Cups with you here. Because I have the Knight of Wands. So I feel this is someone that's motivated and wants to have a Ten of Cups or wants to go after something here, wants to take a risk. So that's where I feel the the energy of being stuck is coming into play. I feel like someone is stuck in a situation that keeps them from putting effort or energy. It's like they're, they might be busy with something else or they're dealing with something in their life right now that keeps them from being able to work on this, which this is desperately needing work and effort. Tell me about the Eight of Pentacles reverse. Eight. Ace of Cups, yeah. See what I'm saying? Like this new love requires effort and I don't feel like this is someone that can do that right now. Page of Cups reverse. And there's disappointment about that. It's almost like someone just wants to cut out the past, cut out what's in their way so they can just get this started. That's the energy I'm picking up here. Tell me about the King of Cups. Tell me about the King of Cups, please. Okay. Five of Wands reverse. Nine of Swords reverse. King of Wands reverse. Yikes. This person, um, I feel like this King of Cups has tried to avoid drama as best as possible. They've tried to avoid conflict as best as possible. They could be, um, why is the King of Wands reverse here? That is not King of Cups energy. Why is the King of Wands reverse? You know what I'm picking up here? Yep. Hermit, Seven of Pentacles, Virgo energy, and Resistance energy here. Someone needing to fight for what they want. This is someone that, this King of Cups wants to be a King of Wands, but can't be a King of Wands right now. I feel it's because they need, they need to have the conflict over and done with. And they're thinking about how to fight back, how to stand up for themselves, how to make this happen for themselves. Yeah, they're trying to figure this out, Seven of Cups. So in their mind, they want to be a, a King of Wands, but I feel like they're delayed. So their intention here, here is to talk to you and move towards you with the Page of Swords and the Knight of Wands. Tell me about the Page of Swords. This is someone that can be uh, watching you. I still check up on you. Why is the Page of Swords here? Maybe on social media. Ten of Pentacles. Tell me about the Page of Swords. King of Swords reverse. Hierophant reverse. Taurus energy with the Hierophant reverse. This is a broken commitment. I have the Ten of Pentacles. And this, you know what I'm seeing here? I'm seeing something that looks good on the outside. Something that hasn't ended but needs to end. Death reverse. Scorpio energy. This is a commitment that should have ended a long time ago. But someone's resisting ending it. It could be the person that your person is with or it could be that if you're the one with the third party you are dealing with someone that doesn't want your connection to end and so that just leaves this person in a situation where all they can do is look at you <laughs> why is the knight of wands here i feel like they want to just they're doing some sort of research or or they're they're eyeing you because i feel like it motivates them Five of Pentacles. Why is the Knight of Wands here? Moon reverse. Three of Wands again. Yeah, this person's waiting for the right time to act. And I feel like it's going to be some sort of surprise with the Moon reversed. We've got the Moon reversed twice. Now with the Five of Pentacles, I feel like there is difficulty, struggle. 
uh, someone could be missing you or vice versa. There's a distance between you. These two cards, for me, this is emotional distance or a distance where you feel like you're missing something. So their intention is to move towards you and maybe even like surprise you with this, the moon reverse. They're waiting for something here. Yeah, to, they're waiting to manifest something. It hasn't happened yet. And their next actions. So their next actions are going to be something to do with a new cycle and success. Why is the world here? Wow. King of Pentacles. Yes, this is someone that very stable. Uh, King of Pentacles takes their time, but they always get things done and they do it right. Well, we got the lovers that flipped up there, so I'll take that. Okay. Some sort of choice. This is a level-headed choice. Gemini energy. Tell me about the world. This person, I feel, is not just thinking logically, but with their heart as well. Yep. Queen of Cups. Yep. They're listening to both, you know, and you can even say that this is someone that is listening to their heart and also the logical part of their themselves. Like this is a very thoughtful decision that they've made here. Yeah, they, they're tired of not having things go their way or work out for them. Tell me about the six of wands. This is recognition. Page of Wands reversed. Okay, so there's delays. Three of Swords reversed. <laughs> that makes sense. So the third party, the third party is going to cause some delays. Um, there could even be delayed healing as well. But I feel like with the Six of Wands, it's like it's it's going to be a temporary delay, temporary setback. Hmm. This is going to be difficult. I'm, I'm not going to sit here and tell you, Aries, that this third party is just going to magically go away on their own. They're not. This is not going to be resolved easily like that. But I have strength and the Knight of Cups. So I feel like someone's going to, to still... I, I'm, like, I just keep getting the energy of someone's tired of things not going their way. And that's just exactly what they needed. The courage that they needed to bring something into control or to change the outcome of a situation this is someone that could be coming to you to apologize to confess that they love you leo energy cancer pisces scorpio energy this is someone i feel like you, you're not really going to see this coming with the moon reverse because i feel like a lot of time has passed but so look at some of these cards here i have judgment four of wands ace of cups lovers knight of cups king of cups queen of cups the world, you know, these are really good cards to get in a reading, especially when I've been putting them together and, you know, asking certain questions. But I feel like that there's an interference here, possibly a marriage or, or a family situation. And that's a big obstacle. That's not going to be an obstacle that goes away. However, what I'm seeing here is that this person, whoever this is, they're not going to give up. Maybe they gave up in the past. But they're tired of their mistakes haunting them. <laughs> That's really what I'm getting. Like they're going to make a different choice now. A difficult one. But there's probably going to be delays. More time is needed. More patience is needed. Yes. But eventually I feel like this is someone that's going to do what they want to do this time. All right, Aries. I'm going to see where this is headed in the extended. What's next for this connection? What don't you know? What's going on behind the scenes? What's blocking this connection specifically? And some advice. I'm going to be pulling some Wisdom of the Oracle cards, Angel Answers cards. So check out the extended if this resonated for you. It's linked down below in the description box. Um, otherwise, I'll leave it th here. Um, thank you so much for watching. If this resonated for you, please leave me a comment. Let me know if it resonated. Um, are you dealing with someone that's married, um, Have has a lot of time passed between you? Um, I'd love to hear from you. Uh, hit the like button and subscribe if you enjoy my readings. And if you're interested in any of the decks that I sell or use, all of that information is down in the description box below this video. 
All right, Aries, thank you so much for watching. I'll see some of you in the extended and the rest of you I'll see in another video. Take care.